Good evening, everybody. This is Karen Jones. Today was an eventful day. Um, had an IEP meeting as I am an educational advocate for parents. During this IEP meeting, the zone coordinator, Priscilla July, um, interrupted the meeting and said that um, I was being disrespectful. Mind you, I was speaking to another advocate, giving her information to the parent who was not sitting next to me. Um, she, when I asked her how was I being disrespectful, she couldn't even tell me how. I chose to voluntarily leave because these are the type of games MPS uh, representatives play so that they can immediately end IEP meetings. Their tactics are fierce um, as much as they are. These education extremists such as Priscilla July um, and even the special needs director Katrina Johnson who last week beckoned for a parent as, in, as if in a fighting mode to come on like doing her hand like you know, in, in a beckoning manner. Um, it's very sad what's happening. The attack on advocates has become very apparent in the last uh, few open due process hearings and IEP meetings that are taking place. And I would suggest that the new superintendent, Margaret Allen, um, confer with her employees via their attorney or anybody else to stop playing these games. It's very critical now and it's very serious. The number of complaints are growing against MPS and they will continue to grow. I've never experienced such um, anger towards parents who are only trying to find out what's going on with their child and how can they become engaged. It's Moral Monday and today I have to, to, to tell you that on this Moral Monday the morality of MPS representatives, employees is at an all-time low. Um, anytime that you can retaliate, harass, threaten parents, students, and advocates is a problem. Anytime you have an assistant principal, such as Mr. Mack at Carver High School, who steals, yes, steals, because he had no reason to take a child's ring, two rings, and refuses to give them back. The attack on the children and the attack on advocates have begun. And I just want to end with this quote and then I must give you an update on what's next. Martin Luther King Jr. said, we must rapidly, rapidly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a person oriented society. When machines and computers, profit motives, and property rights are considered more important than people, the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism are incapable of being conquered. On this more Monday, I'm asking you parents to look on my Facebook page Join in on an event that will happen Sunday, May the 4th, at the Bellingraph, the former Bellingraph Community Center, in which I will be hosting a parent's right to know forum, in which I will share with you your rights. You need to know your rights. You need to know that MPS is violating your rights and trying to hinder you 
from understanding what your rights are for your child's education. Tommy Bice said this, the things in Montgomery Public School System are widespread and systemic, and they are. Yet he continues to allow it to happen. Yes, Superintendent Tommy Bice, I blame you because you are the head chief in the state of Alabama for education. Montgomery Public School Systems need to be taken over. Therefore, on Sunday, May 4, I will again be holding a forum. Please log on to my Facebook page, Karen Jones, K-A-R-E-N Jones, and find out what your rights are by attending this meeting. Letters will also be signed by parents, numbers given for the Attorney General, the Inspector General, the U.S. Department of Education, the U.S. Department of Justice, and other uh, key people in the U.S. Congress that you need to contact that we need as a team of parents, guardians, guardians, students, and advocates will contact for some relief in this great state of Alabama. Our motto is, we dare defend our rights in this state of Alabama. And that's what we, we will do. Education is a property right. This can no longer continue being intimidated and threatened by zone coordinators, special needs of directors, how unprofessional that is. And the cycle continues. I thought when Superintendent Margaret Allen came into her position, things would change. It is sad to say that things really have not changed. We put in a notice of appeal for suspension according to Montgomery Public School System's code of behavior and the policy that we follow. We are being continually harassed about whether or not it is written, whether or not it should be hand delivered, or whether or not it should be mailed. But according to their own board policy, on page 20 and 21, Code of Student Behavior, we follow those rules. We still haven't received an answer. This child continues to be suspended. And no one at the Montgomery Public School System executive head superintendent or the compliance officer who we suspect is Ms. Sophia Johnson is responding why this child is continually missing school. Student Support Services Office, they have a committee who decides on these things. But, where's the due process? The due process goes further than sending someone out to the school who doesn't know this child or what has been going on because evidence has proper evidence has not been submitted. You cannot look at a video without a sign, sound, and determine what is going on. A committee who does not know that um, the assistant principal is in direct retaliation from his heir back in the fall to continue to harass, retaliate, and threaten this child to be put out of George Washington Carver High School is beyond comprehension. Same thing at Lee High School. A teacher who tries to fight a child, Miss Summer Hines, and she's still at work, is getting pathetic. Parents, now, it's time for us to unite to stop all this bullying and harassment from Montgomery Public School Systems employees who are supposed to know better. 
they are violating so many federal and state laws that it is pathetic. But on Sunday, May 4th, please attend from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock. Please attend the Know Your Rights Forum. There will be a plethora of information and a panel of parents to share their stories. And we will be on site to take your complaints as advocates to get them to the correct individuals. Please join us and I'll be posting each day to let you know who will I, who the guest speakers will be. Thank you.